How's it going guys? Today we have this 2008 C6 Z06 in black with the nice upgraded OEM wheels. I believe these are called the spider wheels in chrome. This is a 1LZ so it does not have the heated seats or the premium sound but it does have the heads up display. I bought this car here out of Mississippi. There's uh, five prior owners. Overall, really clean, just like any used car, especially for the age, there will be some imperfections. And this car was enjoyed a little bit. But it's got a lot of things that stand out to me that I like, like the calipers themselves are in really good condition. Um, typically with these, when they get real hot, uh, especially with a lot of hard driving, they, the paint fades out. So that's a, that's a good sign that this car is pretty well cared for. Uh, they added on the ZR1 style carbon front lip and these side rockers. The, the carbon actually is a little faded, it's a little worn out. Um, I'm kind of letting the next owner decide if they want to rip it off or not. It did not originally come with this, this was added on. So we're going to start, uh, we'll do a full 360 with the car and, and I'm going to kind of show you or try to show you as much imperfections as I can. So we'll start off with the front bumper and of course it is a black car. You'll see all the little scratches and whatnot. And we do have a little scuff here. I got my LED light so hopefully it picks up stuff a little bit better. Perfection here. The tires are nice NT triple fives. Uh, I think they're G2s. Yeah, and, and uh, they're pretty, pretty nice tire. Um, they're not dry rotted either, so these are actually done not too long ago. They're not a cheap tire either. Fenders look good. You do need to be careful with these Corvettes as they're fiberglass and carbon fenders. So they don't necessarily dent, they'll crack. But hood looks real good. Got the nice 427 badge. Headlight housings, they're okay. If you notice, there's these very small um, crow's feet in there. And that is a sign that someone had a car cover, but some car covers will actually... Um, affect the lens on these especially when they're in direct sunlight and so that is a result of that the lens themselves are really cheap they're a hundred bucks or so and then uh, the labor of yourself pulling them out and replacing them and then the side vents they're hydro dipped there's a couple little details like that all around the car and then the sides of the car looks really good and the little edge of the door handles are hydro dip. And actually, the rear is a Michelin Pilots uh, Super Sports. Pilot Sport AS5, AS3s. They have a lot of tread left. I might have said they all had G2s all the way around, but I guess I'm wrong. It's got the Pilots in the rear. You'll find that often because it can be tough to get a, a matching set right now with these cars. We do have the rear carbon fiber. This is true carbon. Rear spoiler. Looks real good. We do have the factory dual mode MPP mufflers. The fuse is pulled out inside the car. It does have long tube headers. An off-road X-pipe. K and N intake or Haltech intake, sorry. Overall, really, really clean car. Not a whole lot of imperfections to really point out. The interior, it's in great condition.
even this inlet hydro dip. And I had replaced, uh, I believe I replaced both of these. They're brand new door handles. They're really cheap. Uh, they're about 15 bucks a piece, but over time, the little touch pad wears, wears away and uh, it doesn't make good contact and the doors don't open, but really cheap on Amazon. Show you the interior steering wheel. Driver's seat. Oh, looks good. Now this seat was actually raised off the bracket. I think there may be spacers underneath there. Uh, but this seat actually sits higher than it normally would stock. And you can see where the headrest is pretty close to the ceiling almost. Um, if you're a tall person, I'm sure we can uh, pull this seat out and then you know remove that. But if you're a short person, uh, you'll have that in your favor. So it's kind of interesting. I haven't seen that before, but really smart idea. Especially still keeping the stock seat without changing it out. And I'm going to show you the interior. I'm going to start it up. And at the end of the video, there will be a, a startup and a rev too. Mileage is 49,633. Awesome oil pressure. As it should, being a dry sump car. Alltech intake is, uh, I would say, one of the best flowing intakes for the LS7. It's between that and the Barrier Ram. But a lot of big name shops will stick with the Haltech, like R RPM, Race Crew Motorsports. Uh, I think even CPR made for the those. And it is normal for LED light bulbs, they'll kind of flash, you'll, you'll notice that. Every car I have, when people do that, they always kind of flicker a little bit. So, pop the trunk. Pull the hatch. Your battery is located in the, in the corner down here because we do have a dry sump oil tank where it normally goes on the base models. Um, if your battery ever dies or if your gas door ever fails to open, if it's electronic, you can pull it here and you can even pull the driver door. And as well on the ground there's mechanical levers to unlatch the door. Anyways, that's going to really conclude our walk around of the car. Uh, I'm going to end it off with a, another startup, an exhaust rev, so you can hear the same. Other than that, if you want to make sure it's still available or see other bets I have, go to azautohunters.com. Click on the inventory tab and be sure to follow us on our Instagram as we share a lot of the built Z06 we have and then our track build STI coming soon. So other than that guys, thanks for watching.